to share the word of God, it's very important that we think about God's heart behind it, God's nature behind it. Any Bible verse, uh, for instance, uh, that Jesus saw the, uh, uh, the woman who was a sinner, that was committed adultery, that when Jesus saw her, Jesus could condemn her. But Jesus has the heart to forgive her and motivate her to move on by the grace of God. And so Jesus was protecting her. Jesus was thinking about her, like Zacchaeus. When Jesus walked by and he was waiting up there, Jesus did not just say, you know, not just see a man, but he saw this man hunger for him. So in God's heart is always love and respect and treasure each person. So he saw him and said, come, Zacchaeus, come down, and today I'll come to your home. So to see how much he treasured this man. That, so when we talk with people, like how I'm talking to you now, you can see how I see that you're important. It's wonderful that you have a heart to serve God. You have a heart to declare His Word. And there is much treasure in God's Word because it talks about His grace and mercy and kindness and goodness and His, His holiness is all very good. So then if you have thought about God's grace all the time, then anytime you talk, you will talk about God's goodness. And then when you have faith in God and have a strong anointing, you keep praying every day for the presence of God. And then you practice here among each other. And then you have the newcomers and then you can ask them. Uh, don't at first ask, uh, can I pray for you? Ask them, how are you? Is there anything I can pray for you? Do you have some needs? So start with what they need. Instead of like pushing religion. You know, sometimes you say, uh, can I pray for you? They say, wow, in this church, everyone just want to pray for me. But you listen, oh, you have this difficulty. And uh, it, I know it's not easy for you. And then, you know, you're facing this dif difficulty. Can, do you want me to pray for you? So after you listen to them, respond to them, and then you can pray for them. Then it's not like <coughs> selling praying. You know, when they come in, you say, can I pray for you? Then they say, everyone is trying to pray for me. But you care for them. And then at the right time, sometimes you might, that day might not be the right day to pray for them. But you find a time to pray for them. And then you, you, and then you share about the goodness of God that you experience. And then, and also you can go out and visit some other people and your friends or family members or relatives and then you can bring them to Jesus. So it's wonderful that you have this heart.